Hey, how you doing? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media. Uh, I saw a Good Morning America, and it's a story that kind of pissed me off. Okay, uh, it came from this reporter named uh, Rob Nelson from ABC News. And apparently, uh, this, there was this guy named uh, Matt Menninger who had got attacked by this woman uh, with uh, her stiletto heels. Now, these weren't just regular heels. These were some sharp, pointy heels that apparently uh, she started to beat him with them. Uh, after some other guy scuffed the back of her shoe or something like that, and she got upset, and he tried to defuse the situation, and so she turned on him and started beating and lacerating his face with her heels. Now, what really irked me was this: how this reporter, uh, Rob Nelson, uh, reported on this story. It almost seems as if he made fun of the situation uh, that you know this man had got beat by this woman, you know, who was hitting him with her shoe. Now. What what pissed me off is like it, it's kind of a double standard because if it was a story about a man beating a woman up who like scuffed his shoes or something like that and he just started beating her up, apparently they, uh, I would believe that they will be uh you know reporting this a little bit more seriously. But because it's a man getting attacked by a woman, it's some kind of comedic story. Uh, he plays some cheesy nineteen fifties Casablanca music. That just really irked me because it's like you know you don't you don't you don't take someone who, who's assaulted trying to help you know somebody in a bad situation and he got assaulted and he had to go to the hospital and go to the ER and you know he ended up putting out like a five hundred dollar award to find this lady in, uh, in San Francisco somewhere so I hope they find her but you know what what really irked me is like the double standard that that's going on right now apparently if you if a woman attacks a man it's like funny. You know, I see it on a lot of shows. I see it on a lot of TV shows, talk shows, whatever. And it's like, ah, this woman, you know, slapped this dude. And it's like, ha, 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 this is real funny. But when you watch these same uh, TV shows and you see a male attacking a female, uh, it's like, how dare you raise your hand to this woman? You're a man. And I don't believe that a man should ever hit a woman. But at the same time, you know, people like to say, this, the, the, you know, the generic comment that, a man should never hit a woman, and a woman should never hit a man. And it should just be like that. Well, that's not the way it is. Okay, basically, from what I've noticed, that, you know, if, if a woman hits a man, it's almost accepted. It's like, ah, ha, 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 he got beat up by a girl. So what exactly is a man supposed to do in this situation? Had he hit this woman back inside of this door, he would have been the bad guy. He would have been the guy who, who let this woman hit him, and he hit her back. What a cruel jerk. But he's the one with the lacerated face right now. So I'm wondering, what was his reaction supposed to be? Was he supposed to grab her wrist and defuse the situation? Because even if you left a bruise on her wrist, or you know, while you're trying to grab him and stop him, you know, stop her from attacking him, he still would have been seen as the aggressor or the bad guy. You know, I don't believe it's funny for you know a, a news organization like like ABC News to let some guy come on here and make light of the fact that this dude was assaulted. Posting cheesy music and, you know, making it seem like it's just a big, ha-ha, funny joke. It's not funny. You know, I don't believe a, a man should ever hit a woman. I don't believe a woman should ever hit a man. But I best believe if a woman has a baseball bat and she's trying to crack me over the head with it, I might not be, you know, I don't know kung fu like that. I can't dodge this baseball bat like that. I might have to do my best to take the hit on the forearm and then maybe, like, you know, like knock on the ground or something like that, and you know, I don't know. But either way, he's a, a man kind of loses in this situation because he can't hit her and he can't just get beat up by her either. So he's got to find a middle ground. And I'm kind of annoyed by the, you know, some of the comments I've seen where like women are like, he probably deserved it. Uh, yeah, girl power, all this other good crap. And I'm like, would you be saying it if it was the other way around? Would you be, you know? So quick to, to say, oh, yeah, she probably had it coming. No, they wouldn't. Because one of the comments I've seen from a lot of females underneath that article were like, they were happy that it happened. And men are just booing it down everywhere, saying, this is a double standard. This is messed up. You know, a lot of dudes say he should have knocked her unconscious. I can't really give too much of an opinion on that. But what I can say is that, you know, it's wrong for anybody to, to, to pretend like it's okay for women to smash dudes' cars up. Cut their names into his seeds. You know that song. Smash his four-wheel drive up and all this other good crap. You know, 
it's okay for them to do it. Throw a drink in his face, slap him in like they do in the cheesy movies. It, they're almost, it's almost like 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 it's socially accepted and it's, it's all right for them to, to get away with stuff like this. So at what point do do people say, you know, this is messed up? You know, they talk about the war on women. Where it's a war on men right now, from what I can tell, you know, men getting getting treated any old kind of way, getting passed over for all kind of things. People talking about Planned Parenthood. Oh, they're going to try to get rid of Planned Parenthood. It provides this great service to women. Well, what's the Planned Parenthood for men? When, you know what I'm saying, that, that majority that, that takes care of, you know, men primarily the way that Planned Parenthood does. You know, men are, are, are attacked almost equally as much as women are in domestic disputes, except men don't report it. So there's no place for men to go. There's no half wood shelter house for a man to go to. It doesn't exist. You know, it's like, what, three or four? You know, it may be a, a state or something like that. It's not even that many. But there's all kind of shelters for abused women. And it's, it, I, I'm kind of seeing a double standard here where it's like places for them to go and escape. But there's not places for men to go and escape. And if they do call the police, it's almost a joke like it was on this ABC News story. You know, I'm just saying, maybe maybe someone might want to look into that and kind of fix the double standard that's going on right now. Just saying.